And you're probably wondering why I'm hesitating here. Well, this is why. Wait. I- Wait, wait, wait. This is why! There we go. <laughs> in, my def I, in hindsight, I probably could have started surfing and gotten the stuff there. Oh, after we beat May. <laughs> Another rival battle, everyone. First we attack Team Aqua, and now we're being attacked by a rival. <laughs> not attack. Supposed to be a friend. I'll attack you. And you know what? It's probably not a good idea to have Goodman out against the Grass Pokemon, so we'll keep him out. Oh sure, Fake Out. You know, I always never really saw the point of Fake Out when I was a kid because I didn't know much about Pokemon. But it's like free damage. It's it's even though it's a little, it's free damage since they'll always flinch. I never really- I always thought it's a waste of a move, but it's actually really good. Oh no, Absorb! Your 20 base power is gonna do so much to my high HP Pokemon! Ah! Uh... And it's gonna be affected by poison. Now we're gonna start strengthening. I really don't regret teaching Goodman strength. It's been a really good move. Especially for like- Because there's not many types that resist normal, so it's good to get some damage despite the resistance. And see, even if it absorbs it with energy, um, absorb, absorbs it with absorb, the toxic is gonna get worse and worse the more you use it, because that's how toxic works. I mean, not the more you use it. Each turn, they take more damage from poison, which is really useful to whittle down like a tank or something, especially in competitive battling. It's one of my most used moves to take down something that has really high HP in defense. And Ludicolo, which is the evolution of Lombre, is one of those. And there we got, we gained a lot of EXP. And we'll probably switch out because, actually no, we're facing a Slugma. It's a fire type against a water type. We don't even need a heal because it doesn't really have any moves that will do too much damage. So we'll use just Surf to like do like tons of damage on it. And maybe want to KO it. Yep, it's down. Sweet, more EXP for Goodman. Okay, May, keep feeding Go Goodman more EXP. Okay, Marsh Tom's coming out. So we're gonna send out Harley. And oh man, a four times effective bullet seed on Marsh Tom's gonna do so much damage. Why did that sound sarcastic? I wasn't being sarcastic. Anyway, let's bullet seed. Because each one is four times effective. How much is this gonna do? Oh man. I find it funny how we're way, we're levels higher than May, even though we haven't fought a few trainers yet, because I haven't had a chance to do that off screen quite yet. And I always thought Mudshot would decrease accuracy, but for some reason it decreases speed. I mean, I guess because then it would be a glorified sand attack, which is what Mud Slap already is. And, like, mud going around you would kind of make sense to, um, slow you down, because it's heavy. But, um, I always think of it as a sand attack and not, like, a mud shot, because it looks like sand, the animation, instead of mud. In later games, they, they fix it and make it look like mud, but it actually looks a lot weaker, which it is. Well, I always love using Mud Shot in Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald, because it looks a lot more powerful and like, Ugh, I'm gonna wreck you. And see, remember I said we were gonna wait for something before we go around and do the things we can do with Surf now? Not as Fly. Yeah, 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 we need to get the badge from Poetry. Go away, May. Thank you, May. Hey, it's Scott. I forgot about this guy. He's also not in Ruby and Sapphire, because the thing, the purpose why he's in this game is not in Ruby and Sapphire. He, he, again, he's one of those NPCs that don't really do much, but he does come into, he does do something later on. So, Fly is another HM that I like oh, using. We're going to teach it to Bird X. Because it's probably it's the most powerful same type attack bonus move it can learn. And it's even more powerful than Facade. S wait, is it? See, Facade does 70 fly also. Wait, oh, it, it does 90 in future games. My bad. But anyway, it's more powerful than wing attack. Might as well teach it. And we can actually start flying everywhere. Wait. I just remembered we can't actually use fly until we beat the gym leader. So we're going to go do the surfing stuff after we beat Winona. I mean... Spoilers, it's it, it maybe is her name Winona. I don't know. I, I maybe I'm just having a stroke Yeah, that probably explains a lot of my commentary So we're just gonna look around here to see if there's anything useful. I think we need waterfall, which is an HM we get later on But you never know. I, I don't really remember this part really well because I always speed through and I don't really explore There has to be a hidden item here 
I guess not. One of these things has a hidden item. Yeah, this is totally a hidden item. I could use my dowsing machine or item finder as it's called before Gen 4. But nah. Let's go down. Wait, no, this is just places we've been to already. Wait, is it? Okay, I know where the hidden item is. Gotta hopefully my repel doesn't wear off before I'm done here. I don't feel like using another one because I'm running low. Even though we do have, um... Oh, what? No, hidden item? I, I don't know what the point... I guess I could use my item finder, but nah. Too lazy. See, if we get a multiple key items at a time, like in black and white and black and white too, I would love that. But no, you can't do that. And there are leaf stones, so if you have like a... What's the... If you have like a lombre or... A, no, wait, lombre is also the water stone. If you have a nuzleaf, you can evolve it to shift tree, which is a really good Pokemon. I used it on one of my teams. Not in any main series Pokemon game. It was actually an XD. Hey, remember how I, um... Oh, great. It, come on, can we get there before we get into a wild Pokemon? Nope. But hey, remember when I said that we need the acro bike for something later? Well, I forgot you also need waterfall. So, there was really no point in me getting the acro bike. But oh well, what you're gonna do? Got away safely. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run. Now we're getting on our bike. And go up. Oh god, oh god, I, I should have healed. And oh man, there could have been a tag battle there. Okay, can we finally get to Fort Tree City? I'm pretty sure there's a hidden item in one of these things. Guess not, maybe I'm just crazy. Oh wait, this is something that comes into play later. Well, actually pretty soon. So welcome to Fort Tree City. One of the coolest cities in Hoenn. Hoenn has arguably the most like, besides like maybe black and white, Hoenn has really, really cool cities with cool features. I mean, you got Rossboro, which is like a lively city that, that seems technological, but also ancient at the same time. Well, then you have, um, Dufort, which is a freaking beach. I mean, sure, it's kind of like Sia and more, but it has a lot more of that beach feel than, um, than, uh, Sia and more. It does that feel a lot better. Maldo's pretty bland, I'll give you. Flannery is, I mean, not Flannery. Lava Ridge is pretty like small town like it doesn't really feel like a city which is what I like because not all gyms should be in a city and welcome to route 120 and I guess we'll battle this chick as our person actually you know what I decided to cut out that battle because um it, it went on kind of long and I didn't feel like commentating over it and speaking of cut we actually should go back to the PC and um get cut because there's something we can get there Wait a sec, I forgot that Inner has cut. Sorry guys, it's been like a year since I've used these Pokemon. Even though Inner's been on our team, and I've used it in battles. Like, cut itself, and I couldn't teach Slash because of it. Anyway, we're gonna cut down this tree. Yeah, yeah, we get it. I'm so... I wish, like, if there's one HM I wish they'd remove is, um, cut. It's such a bad... Like, if you're gonna force you to use moves, you should at least make them good. Like, you know what was a good move? Rock climb. It also had a cool effect. Like, you'd climb rocks. I was kind of disappointed in Gen 5 they got rid of rock climb as, um, HM. But they kept something stupid like cut. I mean, at least they had decreased the usefulness of HMs. And I'm just looking to see if any Pokemon has low enough EXP to deserve the thing. And Hammy. And, uh... Actually, we're gonna give it to Inner because Inner has really low XP, and I hate using that thing. I don't know why it's on. on blah! Why it's on my team. So we're gonna give it a rare candy. And there, because Bug types kind of suck before Gen Five anyway. It doesn't learn any flying moves because it's best. I don't think it's gonna learn any better fly um bug move than like Fury Cutter because X Scissor is actually like the best bug type move. That, like, like offensive bug type move you can learn besides, like, Megahorn, which only Heracross can learn. But, like, it, it, that's only Gen 4, and I can't learn Megahorn, because, Horn, because as I said, only Heracross can learn that. So, anyway, we have Gabby and Ty again, so we're gonna talk to them and see if they want to battle. Alright, this is, like, our third time facing Gabby and Ty. This is the last place they'll be. But you, but after this, they'll go back to the first place you battled them, which is on that route between uh, Mount Chimney and Marvel. 
So, and then after that, they'll go back to the beach, and then they'll be back here. And they're gonna get higher and higher level Pokemon, but I probably won't be battling them anymore after this. So, we're gonna Surf, just to do a bit of damage. And, ugh, the stupid Magneton resists all my moves. And I can't even Toxic it, because it's Steel-type. Um, I guess we'll, uh, Fain Attack Magneton, because Bullet Seed, they both, Steel both resists it. But, uh, Bullet Seed will be resisted by each seed. Well, uh, why, what, why you spark on Harley instead of the Pokemon that you're super effective against? And of course it poisons. That's great. I mean, poisons. Paralyzes. That's great. And also, um, Harley's now a dark type as well as a grass type. Which is why I used it. And that's why I didn't use Sharpedo, actually. Because I don't want two dark types on my team. I like my teams not sharing any types. It's just how I like to roll. So we're going to surf again, and then we'll faint attack Magneton once again. Hopefully, like, Magneton dies, because I'm really scared of that thing. Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom. Is that how the song goes? I'm not quite sure. It's a catchy song, though. And Sonic Boom, the game comes out soon. Which seems different. I'm not really into Sonic that much, but I'm actually considering getting that game, because I heard Adventure and Adventure 2 are really good games, and I kind of like the whole, like, different stories. And I think Sonic Boom has that, which is why I'm interested in... That and they've kind of been removing that from Sonic games lately ever since 06 flopped and they made them more simple. But these games seem to have a more complicated story. I think, as I said, I don't think I don't know much about it. I'm considering getting it just to try out a Sonic game, and this one seems like a different of Sonic game for me to enjoy. Because Sonic people pay Sonic for the speed, but I don't really like speed, I, I'm more into beat em ups. Than like speed platforming, like platformers where you can like do damage to people and fight people. And that's what I think Sonic Boom is more like. So I may pick it up because that seems what it's like. And I keep repeating myself. No! At this time we're not gonna get an interview! No! Go away! Now we're gonna get off this. We're gonna avoid this bird keeper. And then. Remember I said Steven is never useful and he just shows up to talk to you? But he's actually pretty useful here. Yes, we're ready to battle. Oh god, are we battling you? I don't want to battle you. Oh, we're not battling you. And see, when when you have like spots that you can't go through, there's a Kecleon hiding there. And now that you have the Devon scope, you can unlock them and then you can catch them and stuff. You can also find them in the wild, but they're very rare. Personally, I don't really like Kecleon that much. I don't- Hoenn is a bit too many gimmicky Pokemon for my taste, and not like good Pokemon. And Kecleon's one of them, so I'm not gonna use it. So we just ran. Also to save time. But- oh, why do you get to fly and I don't? That's not fair. Anyway. You can actually go forward and get way ahead than what you need in sequence ba break, kind of like Dufort Town, where you can go through the granite cave already and then go ahead to Slateboard and then Marvel and stuff. It's I've never actually tried that doing the gyms out of order. I want to see what it's like, but like, um, but you need to go, but you need to backtrack soon, like later on, and you'll need fly for that, which is really useful. So we're not gonna go ahead. Also for this let's play, I'm gonna do the gym in the exact, in the proper order. But you could get way ahead, more ahead than you need to, and I don't think it gets stopped for a while. So I'm just telling you that if you feel like doing things in a tricky order. But, um, let's just get this item, and get encountered by a wild Pokemon. Oh no, a Poochiana! Uh... And we're gonna use a Repel, cause we're gonna get fly soon, so we'll just buy more. Down to five left, oh no. And see, there's another Kecleon here, yeah. There's like, Kecleon's, like that, um, there's a Kecleon there, like, where, where I... Back in the route before where it was raining by that ninja, you could face a Kecleon there. I guess it's just there in case you want to catch one if these two failed. But, there's no, but I don't have any interest in getting a Kecleon since it's not the best Pokemon. And I don't get it, we have a Repo, why did it attack me? So, and we're gonna get this item. Oh yeah, a Nest Ball. 
And now we're gonna surf here, and look at that reflection. I really hope that's an Omega Ruby in Alpha Sapphire, where you can see, like, your surf reflection. Speaking of surf visual changes, um, one thing I love is that, it, like, you make a trail of water, and that's even more shown off in X and Y than it is right now. And it's so cool, it makes me love surfing. And then you can go here. I'm, I'm really not sure what the point of having a new named area, just to get one TM is. I've, I've never really quite understood that. It's kind of like that room in X and Y, where you can have Baynet's Megastone, but has its own name and stuff, and it's really sketchy. But I guess, um, that may be for an event later. Who really knows? But that's enough about me rambling. Uh, next time on Pokemon Emerald, we're going to be taking on the Fortree Gym. This is nothing, just go. And what do I need from you guys? Nothing. Just don't forget to subscribe. See you guys then.